Welcome to the Trend Viewer video. In this presentation we will open and use the Trend Viewer. The Trend Viewer can be used to view multiple existing trends on the same screen simultaneously. We're going to open an existing trend. Now that we have an existing trend available on the screen, we're going to open the Trend Viewer. We'll do that by going up to View and then dropping down to Trend Viewer and clicking on it. Notice that the trend we had opened previously is now in the Trend Viewer window. You can tell you're in the Trend Viewer because of the label at the top of the screen. Now notice the green plus mark. Let's click on that plus mark and we will see another window open, a window containing a miniature version of the left hand panel containing a tree of our Johnson School site. In this window you may navigate to one or more existing trends that you want to add to the trend viewer. When you locate the trend you want, highlight it by clicking on it. You may scroll to additional trends if you like and select those as well. To select multiple trends without losing your previous selections, hold down your control key while highlighting each trend. For our purposes here, we will select one trend to be added to the Trend Viewer. When you have selected your trend, click on the OK button. Clicking on the OK button adds this trend to the Trend Viewer where we can compare multiple trends to one another. Additional trends may be added to the viewer by once again clicking on the green plus mark. Notice that each trend here is a different color. The area near the bottom of the screen shows us the color code for each trended item with its name for easy identification. The check marks to the left of each trended item can be removed. Removing a check mark removes that trend from the screen and makes more room for the remaining trends. You may add or remove check marks to match your viewing requirements. You may change graph types by clicking on the graph buttons. There are a variety of graph types available. Spend some time exploring these buttons yourself. An additional feature is to change from a graphical view as we are looking at now of the trends and to look at the information as a table. Just click on the table button and there we are in the table format viewing the same information as a list of temperatures rather than as a graph. Any of these views may be sent to the printer attached to a computer. Switching back to the graph view is easy. Just click on the button directly to the left of the table view like this. There are additional features that the trend viewer is capable of performing such as going weeks, months, or even years into the past and bringing those trends to the screen for viewing. You may learn about these additional features in the help files. For additional training on Metasys, contact your local Johnson branch and ask for course number 388, Metasys System Extended Architecture for Building Operators. You can also visit our training website at www.johnsoncontrols.com institute to see the current catalog of the many high quality building automation, facilities maintenance and energy efficiency training courses offered by our certified instructors. Classes can be held at one of our national institutes or at your location.